Hello, in this video I will be replacing the valve cover gasket due to smoke coming from the engine bay. This car has a V6 engine and so this has two valve cover gaskets and I will be replacing both. The reason I am replacing the valve cover gaskets is because there are oil leaks which leak down onto the exhaust manifold and burn which is causing smoke coming from the engine bay. I believe only one of the gaskets are leaking but I will be replacing both since I will have to disassemble the top part of the engine anyway. So if you are facing similar symptoms of smoke coming from the engine bay, it could be that your gaskets are bad. But double check and make sure that the cause for the smoke are the valve cover gaskets. There can be multiple reasons as to why smoke is seen coming from the engine bay. So make sure and carefully check to see if you see oil leaking down onto the exhaust manifold causing smoke. There are quite of a lot of parts that got to be removed here, so be sure that the valve cover gaskets are leaking and causing smoke. So in this part, I'm just going to be removing all of the stuff that's attached to the upper intake manifold, such as the vacuum hoses, throttle body connectors, mass airflow sensor connector, coolant hoses that connect to the idle air control valve, and things like that. Just all of the connectors that are attached to the intake manifold, will, I will be removing. I'm not going to separate the throttle body from the intake manifold, however, because I don't want to replace the gasket that sits in between the two. So I will remove the throttle body and intake manifold as one unit. Here I'm removing the air filter box. Here are some more hoses to remove. There is a high chance that if you are working on an older car, the gasket may be on there really good. To remove the gasket from the valve cover, I used a heat gun to heat up the gasket and then I used a screwdriver to pry it out. The heat gun can reach higher temperatures and this is what the gasket needs to come off. I heated the gasket section at a time. For instance, I heated the area of the gasket and then that's when I used my screwdriver to remove the gasket. Then I moved on to the next, se next section. I did this all the way around the, the cover. I also replaced the seals on the screws that hold down the cover and I also replaced the seals at the spark plugs. 
there are valve cover sets that includes all of these parts. Once the new gasket and all of the seals are put on, the cover and all of the other components can be reinstalled. I highly recommend to use new gaskets for the lower part of the intake as well as the upper part. It's a lot of work to remove the intake manifolds. You might as well replace those gaskets. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video has helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.